distribution of universal quantifier for all x given a domain over a logical operator and or conjunction or or disjunction and conditional operator is shown here which one of these uh, is allowable or correct generally speaking basically for all x p of x and q of x and then as if you're saying we can distribute for all individually inside so that we get for all x p of x and for all x q of x in which p and q are one variable predicates or uh, another example is for all x p of x disjunction or q of x can be distribute universal quantifier over disjunction so that we can write for all x p of x or for all x q of x and finally can we distribute the universal quantifier in a given domain um, over a conditional statement in which we are saying p of x then q of x uh, so that as if is it okay to say for all x p of x then for all x q of x so uh, let's examine these okay so the first one we are saying for any x or element you pick from the given domain in the problem this uh, compound proposition which is a conjunction or and of two predicate or logical function is true if you're saying if you're saying for all x p of x and q of x is true then by the uh, definition of and operation this means p of x has to be has to evaluate to true and q of x has to evaluate to has to evaluate to true so as a result for any x so as a result naturally it means for any x p of x is true and it means for any x q of x is true separately and therefore we get true and true which is uh, because of identity law obviously is true so the first one is check check the first one here checks out meaning that we are allowed to distribute universal quantifier over a conjunction as shown here so this is okay now let's focus on the second example we are saying for all x from a given domain whatever domain is for any element we pick from the domain then uh, the logical function p of x or q of x is equivalent to distribution okay so let's see why uh, there might be a problem here imagine as a counter example so as a counter example imagine we define predicate p of x as x is odd number and imagine we define q of x as x is an even number and imagine we are talking about the domain of integers of course so domain of integer numbers therefore what it, as in this example which is working as a counter example for us we are saying for any integer x we pick either p of x or q of x which means either that integer is either so x is odd or x is even which makes sense i mean this is for any integer this is a valid statement it, there is no other uh, possibility outside this so therefore the left hand side which is so i'm going to highlight the left hand side this side evaluates to true because the statement the compound disjunction statement inside is uh, is so the compound the compound statement here inside is always evaluated to true for any x now look at the right hand side right hand side of this logical equality we are saying for all x p of x it means for any number x we pick from domain of integer then p of x which means we are saying any number you pick any integer you pick it's gonna be odd which is obviously wrong because as an example 2 is an integer and is even so then this statement which says for any integer it will be odd is false evaluates false 
Also, the second on the uh, on the other side of this junction, we have for any integer you, we pick. So any integer is even according to the definition of q of x. So as a result, that is also false. For example, we know that three is a valid integer and it is not even. So this one evaluates to false as well. So now we have now we have false or false which evaluates to false. So we can see that the right-hand side evaluate to false, but the left-hand side evaluates to true. And therefore, this works as a good counterexample showing that the left and right-hand side of this question questions equality not matching. So the answer is no, this is not working. So this is not correct. Okay, the last one. For a distribution of universal quantifier, or quantification over over the conditional operator does it work so uh, we need to be careful about this um, as a counterexample again to prove that it is not working generally speaking so as a proof we provide a counterexample so I would say here is proof and here is a proof Counterexample is working as a proof for us. So let's see why is the case. Uh, imagine we have an example in which a, a, we have a domain, and uh, so a domain is given. So domain, let me see if I, okay. So domain is, let's say, domain of some numbers. Or, and in this domain, let's say, we have a situation that sometimes uh, p of x is true, sometimes p of x is false. Since for some x's, p of x is true, and for some x's, p of x is not true. Therefore, for all x, p of x will be false. Also, q of x, whatever logical function is, let's say sometimes for some x we pick from domain is true, and for some, some other x is not true. Therefore, for all x, q of x is going to be false, naturally. And we know that false then false, uh, False then false evaluates to true. We know that is the case. So the left hand, the right hand side. So this is right hand side, evaluates to true. Now let's look at the left hand side. Okay. So imagine the situation is like this. Whenever x, there are some x's. Um, there are some x value. There are some x from the domain. So some x from the domain for which we get p of x true and at the same time for q of x we get false imagine we have an instance of x that you pick from domain for which p of x is true and q of x is false for at least one case since the moment you find such a x or you define p of x q of x to behave like this for such a x it means you're saying there is an x for which you get t then f, true then false, which obviously is false. So therefore, it means you have at least one x for which the compound, the compound proposition here evaluates to false. So therefore, since we have at least one x that this is not working for, for all x, this compound proposition is false because of that singular x. So this evaluates to false. So therefore, again, for left-hand side, we also get false for this third example. We have one instance in which left-hand side of this questioned logical equality is not the same as the right-hand side. Therefore, this is not working as well. So in summary, distribution of universal quantifier over logical operator we need to be very careful, and in, as shown in these three examples, it only works for AND or conjunction, and it doesn't work for disjunction or OR, it doesn't work for conditional operator. I hope that this example is helpful.